You know, I'm looking at um, Hamzat doesn't have an opponent right now. Um, Colby's not gonna fight right now, probably. Jorge's not fighting right now. Um, you know, Kamara's out with his injury. He's getting ready to fight um, Leon Edwards, so that means Leon's not fighting. <clears throat> Hamzat just beat Gilbert Burns. That leaves the next best guy available, Bilal Muhammad. And let me tell you guys why I think he can, can, doesn't mean he will, can beat Hamzat Jemayev, why he's a threat to Hamzat Jemayev. Um, as we all know, Hamzat's proven with Gilbert that he's the real deal. He's a legitimate fighter. He probably will be a UFC champion one day. I think he will be. But he exposed the one weakness that, uh, Gilbert exposed the one weakness that um, Hamzat Chat. To my past, he has one weakness that I see in his in his game. He's very reckless. Um, clearly he was better with the grappling. Clearly he hits harder standing up. So my question is, if you're Hamza, why are you risking standing with Gilbert more than you need to? Take the fight to the ground, ground and pound him, beat him up, wear him out, either get a TKO or dominate a decision. Don't make that fight any closer than it needs to be. He let his ego get away, and that fight ended up being a lot closer, more entertaining than it needed to be. You know, um, clearly Hamza has what it takes to dominate for years to come, and I think he will. But I'll also see where if he lets that slip up again, his ego get away, and he doesn't stick to a, a good game plan. That's probably what his coach was talking to him about in the corner. That's a big issue. So now. Muhammad is a guy that sticks to his game plan. He's not really a flashy guy. He doesn't need to knock people out or submit people very often to win fights in the UFC. He's a really, really good grappler. He can wrestle anybody, can take anybody down. And he knows submissions, obviously. Here's how he can beat Hamzat Jamaev. Hamzat comes into this fight and says, Well, you know... I'm better than this guy. I'm going to smash this guy. He's same attitude he's had with Gilbert. He's basically taking him lightly. Bilal is going to go in there and take him down and do whatever he wants to him with the wrestling. That can happen because Hamzat has proven that he would rather stand than longer than he needs to. I don't think he needs to stand with Muhammad either. He needs to go for takedowns himself. Okay, because Bilal realistically is not going to stand with Hamza. Hamza, I think Hamza's a better striker than Bilal is. Even though Bilal is tight and technical on the feet, Hamza has more power than him on the feet. I think Hamza needs to go for the takedowns, though. To throw off Bal Bal Muhammad. That way Muhammad doesn't go for submissions. Because if uh, Muhammad takes him down, he can control the fight, go for submissions the whole time, ground and pound Hamza. And then let the clock run out. That's what he. That's how he can beat Hamza Jamal with wrestling, sticking to the game plan, being a very disciplined fighter. And even though I don't think he would knock out Hamza on the feet, Gilbert dropped Hamza at some point. He hurt him. Muhammad's the same size and weight as Gilbert, and he's on an eight-fight unbeaten streak. So you're telling me he has no chance to beat Hamza Jamal? And Hamza already fights recklessly right now, but still wins. That will eventually catch up to him. Hopefully it did with Gilbert. It teaches him, hey, I need to fight smarter. I need to do what I'm doing, what's already working for me. That way I can dominate the fight. And in this case, now Bahamas sees that. He's going to say, okay, he likes to get reckless. He likes to stand. He's going to try to stand when I'm taking him down, and I'm going to dominate the fight that way. He probably will go for that. That can happen. Do I think Muhammad's a better fighter than Hamza? Absolutely not. But can he beat Hamza because Hamza lets the fight get away and doesn't fight a smart fight? Absolutely that could happen. This is MMA. Anything can happen. So if these guys fight, that's how he could beat Hamza. I'm not saying he would beat Hamza. I can actually, when that fight's official, I'll give a prediction. I'll talk about it again. But I'll give an actual prediction. But right now, I'm not picking a fight. I'm just saying he can beat Hamza, and I just told you why.